Fall colors are changing, not just across central Indiana, but all across the country, starting from north to south and also higher elevations to lower elevations. The more cool nights you can get, the faster you're going to change those leaves and the more vibrant the colors are going to be. Weather plays a huge role in what we see from fall to fall on how colorful the fall leaves are and how quickly the leaves change. Let's start with some temperatures. So when we have a lot of warm weather, especially at night, that's the key. You can have a lot of hot days and you're still going to be probably mostly fine. It's the nights where you need things to cool down. If you have more warm nights and sometimes that's due to a lot of clouds or really high humidity, you're going to start kind of muting the colors overall. Here's the thing. Most leaves have yellows and oranges in them already. So once you take the chlorophyll out, drain it, you break it down, then you can re reveal those. When it comes to red specifically though, those are something that are kind of created over time throughout the fall. So if you've got a lot of warm weather, you're not able to create those reds very much. So a lot of times the muted colors is just showing more of those browns, kind of yellowish oranges. And usually the yellows and oranges are, are not as vibrant as they normally are. If you're really, really warm and you just can't cool down in the nights. This is one reason why the north generally has better fall foliage. That's why you go to Vermont rather than going to Florida for, for fall leaves. Humidity is one of the biggest factors. Cool weather, especially at night, if you get those cool, crisp, low humidity nights where temperatures drop down to the upper 30s and some 40s and 50s, that is wonderful for fall colors. They're going to be really vibrant. You get a lot of those in a row and you keep just those going throughout the fall. Great color expected. When it comes to rainfall, this is a big deal as well. Heat stress is a real thing on trees, especially in the summer. Of course, summers are just hot and dry typically across much of the U.S. But if they're hotter and drier than normal, you cause a lot of heat stress and that's going to impact your leaves moving forward. If you got a lot of dry weather from the summer and leading into the fall, that may either push back fall leaves and it can also make the colors not as vibrant as well. If you get a good amount of moisture, we're not even talking about flooding or anything like that, just healthy rains, whatever's typical for where you live, central Indiana, if you get, you know, three to five inches month after month throughout the summer, you're going to look pretty good. Color will be on time and you'll have a lot of color as well. Moisture has been a kind of a tricky thing too. If you have a high drought, a big drought, severe drought, that'll really impact the leaves. They may fall off early before they even really have the chance to change and they're going to be more muted over time. But we've seen sometimes you've had a drought all summer long and into the fall, you're getting close to peak. Things aren't looking good, but then if you get a good soaking rain, you can turn things around pretty quickly. It's crazy how resilient some of these leaves are. Now, if the rainfall is too heavy, you get big thunderstorms that can knock off the leaves. So it's a very finicky process, but you want some cool nights. And you still need to have some water on the way. When we've been looking at this summer, we've had a lot of dry areas, but we've also had some decent rain in others. There are kind of three or four pockets of places that have really had the dry weather. First one off to the east, east of Indiana. This is for southeast Ohio. Once you get out of Columbus, you head towards West Virginia. They've been under a pretty intense drought and that's going to make the fall leaves in those hills and mountains of West Virginia, which are beautiful in the fall. That can impact some fall leaves. The cutoff goes close to Washington, D.C. We're looking pretty good going throughout the Northeast and New England. Also have had some dry weather there in the Tennessee River Valley, so some of the fall colors may be impacted too. Across the Central Plains, kind of splotchy depending on where the thunderstorms have really hit. For example, Northwest Arkansas, parts of the River Valley there from Oklahoma into Western Arkansas. We've had some recent rain, so things are turning around. Bigger droughts off toward the West. Big pocket of drought in West Texas. Of course, West Texas is not really known for their fall leaves, but whatever they normally do get, it's going to probably be worse than normal. And then in the northern Rockies on some of these ranges, you get west of the Black Hills just outside of Mount Rushmore there towards uh, Devil's Tower. We've had a lot of drought too. parts of Idaho and then western Montana. A lot of drought too. That's going to impact the leaves. They're usually pretty good up there, but they could be slightly more muted and also the peak may take a little bit longer. If you don't have a color, let's say you're just plain old gray. Overall, you're looking pretty good from a rainfall perspective. When we take a look now, let's move forward because the drought really shows you what's already happened this summer, which is one of the big, big factors when you're trying to figure out how colorful full of fall leaves are going to be and the timing of them. But when we're looking at the rest of fall, generally we've got a bit of a higher than normal rain chance east coast 
So you live the East Coast, maybe color's going to be pretty good. We don't have a drought expectation once you get farther to the east. Out west, plains, desert southwest, generally dry this time of year, but drier than normal conditions are expected. That drought there in West Texas is probably going to get worse. So we're not expecting the best fall colors, at least compared to average, there to the southwest. Also a little pocket of some wetter than normal conditions setting up in Oregon and parts of western Washington. If you got the gray, you got an equal chance. I'd say pretty decent. If you're in the gray, I wouldn't expect really drought conditions to take hold or if you already have a drought for them to really uh, fall off. You're probably looking about staying the status quo moving forward. Now let's switch over to temperatures. We're probably going to have a lot of heat this fall. You'll have these fronts that come in that probably don't make their way too far hitting the central plains. We've got a big warmer than normal pocket likely for the northeast. That could slow down. Leaf call color change there from New York, Vermont, New Hampshire into Maine. Maybe still decent color overall because of the wetness. But then desert southwest, we're also warmer than normal. So really, parts of the Rockies may not be as good as they normally are heading into this fall. We're still going to get some fall color. But generally, just kind of be on the lookout. You may be, if, if you've been before and you want to go back again, it may be a little bit duller than normal or a little bit later than normal when you're trying to plan those trips. So let's take all that together. I know that was a lot kind of drinking out of a fire hose. And put it all together, what's happened, what we think may happen here shortly over the next couple months, where are the best places to see fall leaves. This is a relative forecast. So all these states that we've got, based on what you normally get, this is compared to average. So generally, greens, better conditions. Yellow, kind of so-so, okay. Once you get to oranges and reds, we're kind of going more towards dull or even poor leaf color change this fall. We're thinking, let's start with the Northeast. Northeast is generally a great place to go and it's probably going to be a great place again this year. Just the one kind of bullseye to watch out for will be if you're wanting to get in some of the hills west of Harrisburg, south Pittsburgh, headed there into West Virginia, even parts of western <laughs> Virginia too, once you head out west of Richmond, uh, there towards Charlottesville. Maybe the fall colors may not be as potent or as vibrant this year. They're probably still going to be nice, but maybe not as great as they've been in the past. Good green color there for much of the Great Lakes, especially the western Great Lakes. Uh, you're looking at major cities like Indianapolis, Chicago, Milwaukee. Overall, we're thinking pretty good weather. Now, here's a quick catch. We're not exactly sure what's going to happen week after week going into the fall all the way to peak color change. So some of this can kind of change over time depending on where the heaviest rains fall and where some intense heat could still take place and where the coolest nights will be. But generally, northeast looking pretty good. Now let's take you to the southeast. In the southeast, if you want to see fall colors, you really got to go up in the mountains. You got to go up to the, the Appalachians or maybe you're in the Washita's, maybe you're in the Ozarks. Otherwise, we're not really known as well for our fall colors. That's mainly due to humidity. Higher humidity doesn't allow you to get cool at night, and so the fall colors are usually not as nice. But we've got generally a, a maybe even a little bit better than normal fall color prediction there for the Piedmont from eastern North Carolina to South Carolina, even parts of Georgia looking pretty good. That quickly switches over to, uh-oh, watch just a little bit once you get into parts of Alabama and Mississippi. Once you go even farther west, the drought conditions get worse. And so that's why we have really a not great forecast there for West Texas, parts of Southern New Mexico. What, now, recently, most of the South, not looking that great, especially the South Central US. However, this green color, we've went ahead and pushed it farther South and West through Springfield, parts of Northwest Arkansas, Arkansas River Valley, because they've had some intense rainfalls. Some big time thunderstorms have been passing on through. So that rainfall has actually really helped and has reduced the drought. So that's why you see that appendage there. We'll head off to the North. Basically, if you live East of the Continental Divide, you've got a better forecast. That's generally what happens to over year after year. But with the rainfall prediction, Farther east you can go, they're close to the Mississippi River and the western Great Lakes looking pretty good. Farther west you go, the drought gets worse. Now the, the west gets really tricky because we have a lot of microclimates, so everyone's going to get something different. One side of a mountain is going to be different than the other or on different sides of different valleys. However, much of the west is looking fairly dry. We've got some drought conditions in the Rockies. 
Different story though, California. We may have one of our best fall color seasons that we've had in years. The drought's been mainly busted in California, mainly thanks to some winter snows we had last winter and the spring rains. So those waters continue to flow. The streams are looking still pretty good and we've been dry the past several weeks. That's typically what's normal though in the summertime. But we may have better fall colors than normal in California, parts of Western Oregon. If you just hug the Pacific Highway, you're looking pretty good. Farther east, drier than normal conditions expected. So watch out there just north of Boise, headed towards Missoula, Montana. Overall, if you're trying to pig, figure out maybe one state or two states that you want to narrow down to to get the best fall color, I pick out one of the Great Lakes states. However, western, or sorry, eastern Ohio, parts of West Virginia, western Pennsylvania, watch out for this pocket. Maybe not as good as it normally is there right around West Virginia. But outside of West Virginia, you're not going to be disappointed. You go to New England, parts of the Northeast, or you head to the Great Lakes. But it all depends on how cool your nights get ahead and how much water you get. If you keep the water coming, you keep the cool nights coming, you're going to have awesome fall leaf change this year.